Good morning, comrade subscribers. Uh, just a quick update on my Specky. So the new case arrived yesterday. So I ended up getting this from the US, even though I know I, know I could get it from the, from the UK. Um, this one came all together. Normally, when you're trying to get one of these, you've got to make sure you get the, the, uh, the face plate, the, um, the uh, rubber, <laughs> rubber keyboard, the keyboard membrane, and the case. And of course, that allows you to mix and mix and match the colours. But when I was looking at the UK one, that um, kind of consolidated everything. All the ones were out of stock, so I just thought, okay, I'll just go for plain blue. So um, looks pretty good. So it's it's not three D printed or anything, and it um, looks like they've kind of I don't know if they're reusing the original moulds. Maybe they are, um, but they look pretty good. So I just need to. I just need to tape down the um, the fascia plate like that. So I still need to get my uh, specky working. It's still got that issue. Well, I assume it still it still has um, that we saw last time. And as you will know, well, most of you will know, maybe long-time subscribers will know that um, this Specky came in a uh, fuller FDS case and I did kind of refurbish that but I was I don't know I didn't really like it so I thought no let's let's just return it back return it back to its um, you know its original form so it goes in like that and the membrane keyboard goes on like that so I'm not going to put it back together yet because I gotta fix it don't I Goes on like that, cool, very very good, and then I hook on my interface one, <laughs> like so. Of course, the keyboard's not um, the keyboard isn't the motherboard isn't. There we go, that's all right. My interface one like that, and then my interface two goes on the back there. And then I've got my uh, micro drive on the side here. So the micro drive is from uh, V Retro New Zealand. So it's got the it's the SD card. So I've got that. I've got that. So I've got my ZX interface one, which has got the micro drive interface and the serial port. Interface two, which has got the cartridge um, interface and two joysticks, plus the printer port on the back. And then. I can put my cartridge in here and away I go. So that's that's what I'm ultimately hoping for. Can I have a closer look? So that's what I'm kind of aiming for. You ignore all the mess. <laughs> my little specky setup. Um, Ivan's uh, 128K uh, RAM expansion. So the, um, the printer interface on the back isn't a full interface. It's only for the printer. So I can't hook it on there, unfortunately. So I'd have to hook it on there for example take take that one off uh, but there we go that's that's pretty much pretty much what I'm hoping for kind of an almost original you know fully specced out spectrum yep so that was all uh, on to other things I did forget to mention uh, because I've got uh, Charlie's uh, VLA 82 replacement ULA uh, I can um, use one of these to get RGB output. So replace, at, at the moment I've got um, composite output, I've, I've converted it to composite output, but uh, Charlie's got either this one here, um, which replaces the, uh, as you can see here, replaces the uh, RF modulator there, so that I can plug in uh, there or I think or there's this external one here. So I think this has got the same pinout as the plus two plus three So I wasn't sure exactly how this goes, but I'm thinking that you remove that still And I think it must go on like that So I might even let me just disconnect the So I might even use This one instead so I think does it go oh okay so it does go in like that okay I might actually use that one then let me just get the 
top part. I should stick all this together. Make it stays in there. There. Okay, cool. That's, so that's what it'll look like. So that's using the same, so I can use the same cable, and it's also got um, audio output there as well. So that means I can use the same cable. So I can either have that, which I think that's okay, and that like hooks onto the case like so, or I can mount this, remove that, so I might as well remove it, although I'm, I'm using it at the moment for troubleshooting, and um, I'll have this one poking out. What do you reckon? This one might be easier because I do actually have a cable I've already made up for that one. <laughs> but um, yeah, need to get it working first. Need to um, solve the corrupted, corrupted graphics or corrupted characters issue. But I'm looking forward to it. It's um, yeah, neat little machine. Okay, that's all for now.